Harry Potter lived at number four Privet Drive with his horrible uncle and aunt and their hateful son Dudley. Harry was often locked in his room and even though he is a wizard, he couldn't escape because he wasn't allowed to use magic when he was away from school. One evening, a house elf named Dobby appeared. Harry Potter must not go back to Hogwarts. If Harry Potter goes back to Hogwarts, he will be in mortal danger! Dobby disappeared, and shortly after, Harry's best friend Ron Weasley and his brothers Fred and George arrived in a flying Ford Anglia to rescue Harry from his prison. They flew him to their home, the Burrow, where Harry spent the rest of the summer before travelling by flu powder to Diagon Alley. Harry met up with Ron's sister, Ginny, and went with her to Flourish and Blots, where the famous wizard author, Gilderoy Lockhart, was signing his latest book. Great Scott, is that? No, surely not. It is. It's Harry Potter. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, this is the perfect moment for me to make an important announcement. I have great pleasure in announcing that I will be taking up the post of Defence Against the Dark Arts teacher at Hogwarts. Oh. Bet you love that, didn't you, Potter? Famous Harry Potter. Can't even go into a bookshop without making the front page. Leave him alone. He didn't want all that. Potter, you've got yourself a girlfriend. I suppose your parents will go hungry for a month to pay for all the books you're going to need at Hogwarts. It's the least I can do to help out the poor and needy. Hurry! We've missed the train! The Hogwarts Express is five minutes ago! Oh no! What are we going to do? Well, I know that Dad took the flying car to work this morning. It's parked in Charing Cross Road. OK, it's our only chance of getting to school on time. Being sure to check that no one was watching, Ron and Harry took off in the old Ford Anglia. Now all we've got to worry about are airplanes. <laughs> I can't see anything in here. There. Uh oh! I think the car's cutting out! Come on, car! Come on! Stop! 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 Just hold on! I can't do anything else! Hurry up, Harry! I can open chess with the Alahamora spell. To cast a spell, press and hold the left mouse button. If I climb over low walls, I just have to walk into them. I can use this garden as a target to activate the Lumos spell. This is a save book. Flipendo! Ah! 
I bet I can pass Rependo on that luggage to push it to that ledge. Rependo! <sighs> Hurry! This branch is squeezing me like a snake! Alohomora! A chocolate frog. Chocolate frogs replenish some of you, Anna. They also taste delicious. can open up magically locked objects such as chests and secret doors. Good job, Harry. Now, see if you can cast for a pendo on this branch to get it off me. I think I see a sensitive spot right there. Lependo! Thanks, Harry. Much appreciated. Oh, no! Come back! Great. My dad won't be happy that I lost his flying car. Anyway, we better get a move on. We don't want Professor Snape catching us out so late. Not only does Luna cast light, it also reveals magically hidden things. To jump, run to the ledge and press the right mouse button. Try collecting the beans on all the ledges, Harry. Those are Bertie Bot's every flavour beans. I should collect as many as I can. They'll come in handy later. Harry, you need to get onto this ledge over here. Cast Flapendo to push the block towards me, and then you need to jump to this ledge. This is a bronze wizard card. There are 50 of these scattered throughout Hogwarts. Each time you collect 10 bronze cards, you're given a permanent stamina increase. Pressing the escape key will allow you to access the Folio Magi and look at the wizard cards you've collected thus far. Stops. At least we'll be dry when we get expelled. Come on! We'd better get up to the school! Uh. Look at all the stars! I hope Ron didn't get lost. Alohomora! Alohomora! Nice night now the rain has stopped. Alohomora! 
is just over here to the right, remember? Trees up here, Harry. Finally, there's the portrait of the pink lady. Give her the password and let's go to bed. I thought you'd have the password. Why would I have the password? Why would I have it? I've been with you since we got here. You're right. I better know who would have it. There you are. Right on time. I heard the most incredible story about you two getting expelled over a flying car. Oh, Marnie, please, we're tired. Could you just tell us what the password is? Wattlebird. It's good to see you again, Harry. There you two are. Brilliant entrance. Got the year off with a bang. Mum's furious, by the way. You two should hear about the bean trading system we've set up. It's based on Bertie Bott's Every Flavour Beans. Fred, myself and several of our associates have set up trading opportunities throughout Hogwarts. Some of us will occasionally have an item to trade. If you have enough beans, we'll trade with you. Where are we supposed to get all these beans? They're hidden all over the place. It's not hard to find them. You should have enough to start trading in no time. It will be a pleasure doing business with you, I'm sure. Once inside the common room, Harry was greeted by the cheers of his fellow Gryffindors. Harry and Ron became Gryffindor heroes due to their little accident with the Whomping Willow. Harry slept well that night and looked forward to his first day at Hogwarts. Harry. It's time for our Defence Against the Dark Arts lesson with Professor Lockhart. I just love his books. He's such a brilliant writer. Defence Against the Dark Arts on the third floor. Follow us. Pardon me.
Harry, Defence Against the Dark Arts is up here. Try to hurry, Harry. We'll get to see Gilderoy Lockhart in person. Nick? Even after all these years, I still find new secrets in Hogwarts. Here's a special area that you can unlock only if you collect all 40 silver wizard cards. For every 10 silver wizard cards you collect, you'll get a key that will allow you to open one of the four locks on the door. See if you can find all 40 Silver Wizard cards hidden throughout Hogwarts and the grounds. Remember where it is, don't you? I'd better get out of here. Filch might be lurking nearby. Well, well, well. I heard a crash, and what do I find? Mr. Harry Potter and a broken, irreplaceable antique vase. Argus Filch, the caretaker, was loathed by every student at Hogwarts. Some thought his cat, Mrs. Norris, spied on students. Honestly, it, it just fell. What was that? Hey, what are you talking about? I heard a voice. Hearing voices won't get you off. I'll mark this down against you. Now move along while I clean this up. I must have been hearing things. Oh, my God. 
Welcome to Defense Against the Dark Arts. My fame makes an introduction unnecessary, but I'll delight you with one anyway. I am Gilderoy Lockhart, Order of Merlin, third class. Honorary member of the Dark Force Defense League and five-time winner of Witch Weekly's Most Charming Smile Award. Ah, I see you've all bought a complete set of my books. Well done. Today, we shall be learning the Rictus Sempra spell. Rictus Sempra is very useful when stunning certain pesky creatures such as Cornish pixies. Who wants to be first? Harry Potter, will you step down here, please? Lucky. Clear your mind completely, Harry. Don't even think about me. And concentrate on the symbol in front of you. See the wand? It's going to move its way around the symbol. At the exact point when the wand passes over the arrows, hit the corresponding arrow key. This exercise has three parts. You must hit all of the arrows correctly in order to progress to the next round. Ready to try? Round one, begin. Well done, Harry. You've advanced to the next round. Five points to Gryffindor. Round two, begin. Well done, Harry. You've advanced to the next round. Ten points to Gryffindor. Round three, begin. You're almost as good as me! Fabulous work, Harry! Aren't you glad you've learned from the likes of me? You've now completed the exercise. Fifteen points to Gryffindor. You've learned Rick to Sempra. You didn't do as well as I did the first time, but then who could? Now, how about a turn in the spell practice arena? Welcome, Harry Potter, to my famous Rictus Sempra challenge. To complete the challenge, you must find the completion star, which will be found at the top of this tower. Try to it as quickly as you can. If the challenge timer reaches zero before you have the completion star, you lose the challenge. Along the way, you will find challenge stars. Collecting challenge stars will boost your timer and score. Try and find them all. Try to get the completion star with as many seconds remaining as possible. The higher your score is when you complete the challenge, the more house points I will award you. Ready to begin? Good luck! Three, two, one, go! Firecrabs are nasty little pests that like to shoot hot flame out of... Uh, well, at you. You can stun them by casting Richter Zebra on them. Then you can use Flipendo to push them around. This indicates that a fire crab placed on or nearby the symbol will cause something to happen in the world, Harry. Try and use Flipendo to push the fire crab onto this plate. That's a giant orange snail. Avoid touching them or their slime trails. The acid that they secrete will burn you. Harry, trust me, I know. Rictus Sempra will stun them, and then you can use Flipendo to push them around.
Gnomes are a greedy lot. They will try to steal your Bertie Bot's beans. Flipendo will push them onto their backs and cause them to drop anything they might have stolen. You can also pick up gnomes and throw them around. Throw them into a gnome hole to permanently get rid of them. That is a gnome hole. This is where gnomes come from and where they go to deposit stolen goods. Throw gnomes into these holes to permanently get rid of them. You cannot climb into them. Nintendo!
Mr. Potter, you have completed my Rictal Sempra challenge. The remaining time now becomes your personal high score. about a trade, Harry. Harry, the weekly health point ceremony is about to start. Follow me and I'll show you where it is.
Good morning, everyone. For those of you who have trouble remembering names, I am Albus Dumbledore, Headmaster of Hogwarts. Welcome to the very first weekly house point ceremony of the school year. The house with the most points wins a visit to the Bean Bonus Room. The length of the visit depends on how many more points they have over the second placed house. Let's take a look at the scores. Oh, it appears that Gryffindor is in the lead. Harry, it looks like you get to visit the bonus bean room. Good luck, and remember, you only have a limited time to collect beans. Harry, there you are. Glad I found you. Hello, Wood. Time for Quidditch practice, Harry. None of the other teams have started training yet, so we'll have a good head start. But I haven't had lunch yet. You can eat later. Follow me to the Quidditch pitch. Would you be interested in trading? Alohomora! <laughs> Oh. Would you be interested in trading? Listen up, Harry. We're going to make sure we win the Quidditch Cup this year, and the way we're going to do that is practice, practice, practice. First, a quick recap of what we learned last year. Of course, you already know that the red ball is called the Quaffle, and it's the job of the three chasers to get it past the enemy keeper and into one of the goalposts. But you don't need to concern yourself with that. There are also two bludgers flying around, which you don't want to get hit by. But don't worry, each team has two beaters who try to keep them away from you. Last, and most importantly, it's your job as our Seeker to catch the Golden Snitch before the enemy Seeker does. Since you've been off all summer, let's start out easy. I'm going to throw up a Snitch for you, and I want you to try to catch it. Sounds easy enough? Alright then. You can use your arrow keys to steer your broom left, right, up and down. 
Being hit by a bludger, pushed by the other seeker, or running into things can slow you down and put you further behind the snitch. You will automatically close in on the snitch. Press the left mouse button to catch the snitch. Now the rest of the Gryffindor team is here, let's play a mock game of Quidditch. Avoid the bludgers and the other seeker. I'm going to have a Gryffindor stand in as an enemy seeker. You'll need to make sure she's out of the way before you can catch the snitch. Don't worry, they'll take it easy on you. The Nimbus 2001 gives you much needed speed. Look, huh? Remember, uh. Harry, you'll not put your hand out till the enemy seeker is out of the way. Behind Quidditch you. armor will help soften walls during the match. Uh. When you're close to another player, Harry, you can use your action key to kick or shove them. That's it, Harry. Give them a good nudge so you can catch the snitch. That's it, Harry. Stay right on the snitch. You've almost got it. Excellent work, everyone. You're back on form, Potter, which means we've got a great chance of winning the cup this year. Aren't you finished yet, Harry? Don't look now, but here comes the Slytherin team. I don't believe it! I booked the pitch for today! Hey! They've got new brooms and, and it looks like... Yes, they are! They're Nimbus 2001s! Yeah, I know. Apparently, Lucius Malfoy made a very generous donation. Like our new brooms, Weasley. What are you doing here, Malfoy? I'm the Slytherin Seeker now. Didn't you know? Perhaps someday Gryffindor will be able to afford new brooms. Well... At least no one on the Gryffindor team had to buy their way in. They got in on pure talent. No one asked your opinion, you filthy little mudblood. You pay for that one now, Foy. Well, at least I could afford it, Weasley, unlike you. Leave it, Ron. He's not worth the trouble. Mudblood. A nasty name some wizards use for other wizards who were born to non-magical parents. And speaking of mud, October arrived damply at Hogwarts, spreading a soggy chill over the grounds and into the castle. A different kind of chill would soon set in as well. It's time for potions class with Professor Snape. We don't want to be late. You know what he's like. It's down in the dungeons. Follow me. This leads to the dungeons. Alabora! Now pay attention. Today, you will attempt to learn the art of mixing one of the most useful potions ever concocted, the Wigan Weld Potion. Potter, you have just volunteered to show the rest of the class how this is done. Get up here immediately. A Wigan Weld Potion will restore some of your lost stamina. Even a single bottle is capable of healing the most grievous wounds. In this chest are the two ingredients of Wiganweld Potion, Flubberworm Mucus and Wigan Tree Bark. Take them out. Now, walk up to the cauldron. Try not to touch the potion. I don't want it contaminated. Observe Mr. Potter adding the ingredients to the cauldron and mixing them. Careful, Potter. You don't want to lose house points. 
Mr. Potter now has a Wigan Weld potion. To drink the potion, press space bar. Back to your seat, Potter. Those of you who are adventurous, or more probably clumsy, will no doubt want to make Wigan Weld potions on your own. Therefore, there are cauldrons like this one throughout Hogwarts. They are the only cauldrons in which Wigan Weld potions can be made. And the ingredients, flobberworm mucus and Wigan tree bark, can also be found throughout Hogwarts. Now for today's lecture, the history of flobberworm mucus extraction. Before that lecture, I thought I knew everything I wanted to about flobberworm mucus, and I was right. Well, I thought he touched on some interesting aspects. Let's get going before Snape comes out. What was that? What was what? That voice! It was coming from over there! Come on! What's going on? <sighs> Enemies of the air, beware! You'll be next, mudbloods. She's been petrified, but how? I cannot say. And now, I would like everybody to please return to their dormitories. There's nothing else to see here. Come on, Harry. Professor Dumbledore's right. There's nothing more to see here. Everyone at Hogwarts was disturbed by the attack on Mrs. Norris and the mysterious words scrawled on the wall. Rumors and speculations spread. Hermione, in particular, was especially affected. Ron and Harry became sure that she was up to something, but whatever it was, she remained tight-lipped. We have to get to Charms class, Harry, and I have an idea. An idea about what? We should ask Professor Flitwick about the Chamber of Secrets. He's bound to know something. Let's go. Which way are you going, Potter? Hurry up, Harry. We don't want to be late for charms. Coming, Hermione. Uh, uh. 